Let's do this. Uh, top 10 funniest forgot they were on live TV moments. I am sick. I almost mentioned it on every React video at the start. Uh, but my stream heard that thousands of times now. That's why I'm speaking like this and I need to take more of these. But I just finished one show, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are we gonna try not to laugh? I need to try not to laugh because it hurts when I laugh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that ended before I was expecting it. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest forgot they were on live TV moments. I can't bear that. For this list, we'll be looking at some hilarious well, moments that, when I mean, people slipped Charles. up, misspoke, or let loose without meaning to while in front of a live camera. What live TV blunders have given you the giggles? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Pokemon Go Away WTSP News When Pokemon Go hit the gaming scene in 2016, it became hugely popular. It also created quite a few problems for players who lost track of their surroundings. The Pokemon Go craze is affecting everyone, even news reporters. This is a lesson Allison Croft, an anchor for WTSP in Florida, learned on live TV. While engrossed in tracking down her favorite Pokemon, she walked right in front of weatherman Bobby Deskins. St. Pete right now. Got a Pokemon? She's looking at the Pokemon right now. This is what the he, he, he's just a Pokemon. He's just a Pokemon. He's talking about Pokemon on Twitch. In front of weatherman Bobby Deskins. St. Pete right now. Got a Pokemon? She's looking at the Pokemon right now. This is what the location. You guys gotta be careful with these phones and this Pokemon. You're just walking around all over the place. He was in the middle of his daily forecast and was completely stunned by her oblivious walkthrough. Later, Croft posted the video on her Facebook page with the caption, <laughs> quote, that moment you realize you may be addicted to Pokemon Go. Number oh nine, God, no on way. the air overshare, ITV News Anglia. <laughs> Most embarrassing incidents on live TV are due to a brief moment of inattention. These are quickly fixed and the program continues. I'm just going to move back to the uh, main set. I know this has happened before, uh, but here we are. If I sidle in, you can pretend that you haven't noticed. One incident at ITV Anglia in England went on for quite a bit longer. Host Emma Baker was casually chatting with people in the studio while tidying her clothes and hair. Nobody seemed to notice that the preparation she believed to be off camera was actually live to this viewers. A lot. Morning, Mrs. Seamus. Who is it then? It gets even worse when you pay attention to the comments Emma made towards an off-screen colleague. She asked if the woman in his story was his wife or another woman he spent too much time with. Awkward. Is this your wife or um, Jan? Oh my god. No. Oh, oh no. Because you're always talking to her. Number eight, everyone can hear you, WDSU. While covering a game in Minnesota, know. former NFL coach Jim Mora made a comment that was not meant for live TV. Yeah, because he didn't play. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's other games where he only had, he might have had first six carries, only taking 18 injured. yards, but he played the rest of the game. Intending to be humorous, anchor Scott Walker made a joke that Mora was losing patience with his fellow commentators. When the joke was repeated to Mora, he laughed and told the others to pass along a pretty salty opinion of the jokester. Scott just said the later it gets, Jim, the less patient you get with us. Is that true? Who said that? Scott. Ha ha ha. Scott, he's full He didn't realize that they were in a split screen on air. His colleagues on the scene tried to rewrite the comment by agreeing that Walker was indeed, quote, full of it. It took a moment for Mora to realize what was going on. What? He's full of it. How about that? Yes, he we're is full of it. Yes, yes. We're, we're, we're live. It's okay. It's okay. Um, was that live? That was live. No, it wasn't. That was live. That's no, it. Let's just move it. past it. Oh, my That's God. It's okay. That's when he did, he had a good laugh that was likely shared by the viewing audience. Number seven. Prime Minister insults voter. 
The Early Show A week before a difficult election, Britain's Prime Minister Gordon Brown made a particularly badly timed live TV mistake. With the election just a week away, just about everyone is uh, calling this a campaign train wreck. He was hoping for a campaign moment that showed he was in touch with the common citizen. The woman chosen for him to talk to brought up the contentious subject of immigration. While on camera, Brown held on to his smile and remained calm. But all these Eastern Europeans were coming in. Uh, Where are they flocking well, from? Brown did what politicians do. He practiced politeness. However, when he got into the car, he let his real opinion loose. He called the moment a disaster and the citizen a, quote, bigoted woman. He forgot he was wearing a live microphone and he spoke his mind. That was a disaster. She just a soft, bigoted woman. I think it's ridiculous. Unfortunately, his mic was still live. My God, and like you literally, they need to vote for you, and you just screw it like that. Live, and it was all picked up by the local news team. This could be one of those rare moments where a politician is maybe a little too honest. Number six, put your phone away. BBC News. We all know how hard it is to not check your phone when you have a minute. It's probably why cell phones are often banned in schools and workplaces. That's enough for you. You need to set a limit so that you don't keep checking that during work hours. Whether it's allowed or not, you should probably avoid it when there's a chance you could end up on live TV. Anchor Joanna Gosling was taking a moment to scroll through her phone when the camera cut to her station a little more quickly than she expected. Everything. Hello, you're watching BBC News. Clearly, someone just off screen let her know she was on the air. Her startled Fine. reaction was great, but she jumped back in like a pro. Her yeah. phone was still in reach, though, you know, in Fine. case she had another spare minute. Just hang up the phone. Okay, I'll wrap it up. Bethany, hang it up now. Number five, caught fixing hair, BBC News. Proper hair care is important, especially if you're a TV persona. Carol Walker on BBC yeah, News had a few minutes to spare before her 9 a.m. segment. It probably seemed like the perfect time to snag her handbag and take a moment to touch up her look. Unfortunately, the camera team cut too early. You can see that the clock says 8.56 a.m. Walker was caught primping, but like a true professional, she didn't panic. She simply put the brush away, snagged her papers, and went straight into her report. It must have been pretty confusing for watchers who tuned in after the incident. This is BBC News. I'm Carol Walker. The headline's at nine. Why is there a purse on the desk? Number four, yeah. stop interrupting. CNN. Have you ever tried to explain something to someone and they keep interrupting to ask questions? It's so frustrating hey. because if they'd just let you finish, they understand. Will you ever let me finish a damn story? <laughs> I just assume that Jeff I would love to finish one damn story. Well, weatherman Chad Myers had this moment during a live segment on Hurricane Katrina. Anchor Carol Costello kept interrupting to ask for clarification. Myers finally just couldn't take it anymore. He lost his cool and snapped, let me talk, Carol. Okay, that so is lower Chad, pressure, I mean, Chad, but Camille, Chad, but Chad, let me trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Well, if you would let me talk. The spat continued for another moment as Myers threw his papers on the floor in frustration. Later, the two tried to cover it up by saying they were just having some fun. All right, Carol. Thank you, Chad. All right, just having fun with you this morning. <laughs> it looked pretty genuine, but since it was at 4.30 in the morning, we can probably cut them some slack. Number three, Biden oh. drops a bomb, ABC News. While running for president, Joe Biden <laughs> described to himself as a bomb, ABC News. While running for president, Joe Biden described Sorry, himself as a gaff machine. He's made many unintentional mistakes live on air, and a few yeah, have included Biden, curse words. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son. One of the funniest took place while he was vice president. President Obama was about to sign his health care bill into law. An ecstatic Vice President Biden leaned in close to sum up the moment with some very colorful language. When Joe Biden quietly dropped the F-bomb in the president's ear. <laughs> just as Obama claimed victory for health care reform. Unfortunately, he forgot that the podium microphones were still going to pick it up for all to hear. No one would argue that the bill was a big deal, but the choice of adjective was a little R-rated for news coverage. Thank you, Joe. 
Good to be with you, Mr. President. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it wasn't long before his blender became a popular t-shirt slogan. Number two, snap out of it. ABC News. Daydreaming at your desk is not that unusual. Quit your daydreaming, melonhead! Quit your daydreaming, melonhead! We've all had a spacey moment or two while we're supposed to be working. It's the moment when a coworker snaps you out of it that's really unsettling. Well, imagine how startled Natasha Exelby was to be caught daydreaming on live TV. You don't have to imagine because her facial expression tells it all. After a pre-recorded episode finished, the camera cut back to Exelby. ABC News, Mount Sylvia. Now to sport with Meredith Sheehan. Unfortunately, she'd let her mind wander while idly fiddling with her pen. When this mistake cost the casual contributor her on-air shifts, viewers reaction. started a petition to reinstate her. It just goes to show that everyone loves a moment when someone is just being human. Afterward, XLB was relieved of her on-air role. We just but the journalist literally, the professionalism in any kind of state on media, for me, just makes it so hard to get connected to that person, you know, to understand that person. I wish everybody just cuts the B and just be themselves. Just found the humor in the viral moment, tweeting, thank you all for your generous support. Not my finest hour. Yes. Myself and my mesmerizing pen honorably salute you. Before we continue, we you be too, sure girl. to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A Quick Cut – BBC News Every once in a while, we get a peek into what happens off-screen of live news shows. Hark! What, what the hey? What is that I hear? Weatherman Thomas Schaffernacker would have preferred this moment had never made it to at-home screens. Anchor Simon McCoy teased his co-worker by declaring that the weather report would be, of course, highly detailed and 100% accurate. Now we'll have the weather forecast in a minute, and of course it'll be 100% accurate and provide all the detail you could possibly want. The good-natured sarcasm seemed to hit a little too close to home this time. When the camera cut over more quickly than expected, Schaffernacker's one-fingered salute was clearly caught on camera. The panic upon his face is clear, and it looks like he tried to change the gesture to a chin scratch. The anchors smothered laughs and joked, Every now and then there's always one mistake. That was it. Did you enjoy this video? Check yeah, out these man. other clips the from Watch Mojo did him dirty. and The cameraman knew what's coming, he just wanted the reaction. He's like, let's catch him, because probably this guy did it multiple times, and uh, this time they caught him. <laughs> Oh man, that was fun. He got caught in 4K. Hey, do you think he lost his job for that? I wish not. I really hope not. Uh, people need to be more of themselves. This was fun. Thank you for sharing. Oh,